firstly, no, I have not started rebuilding this one yet. I'm, I'm working on customer stuff, but I thought that it might be fun to just do a real quick short video, something I really want to do more of. Anyway, this is a 6215-7000. It is, uh, it's the, f it's the first version of this kind of 300 meter dive watch case in style. Uh, this wasn't produced for long, the 6215s, and then the the next generation 6159s came out. But I've been saying that one of the things I loved the most about this version versus the 6159 high beat is just the, the quality of the movement build. And some people, you know, over the years have said that they prefer higher beat watches. They just, they, they don't like slow chuggers. They, they want to see those higher numbers. Um, I, I found that the 6200 family, they are just beautiful runners. They'll maintain excellent amplitude um, and just and fantastic beat error all day long, forever and ever and ever. And it's, uh, you know, it's it, there. Yes, you, you're only getting 18,000 beats per hour, which means you're not shaving, you're not dividing up the time and then averaging it. You don't have as much data, so it's going to be a less precise number. But I mean, really, who cares? And sustained amplitude like this, very rare. That's not typically something that Seiko does. Um, but at this point, they were they were trying to make their way into the Swiss markets. And for whatever reason, they, they made it so that this one did it. And it cruises at these beautiful, beautiful numbers. And it will go forever and ever and ever. So the only difference between this movement and the one that's in this uh, is a few jewels. Um, th ooh, I don't remember. I think these have... These should have jeweled upper and lower mainspring arbor ports. This one does not. Uh, there are, a f I think, a few other differences. I, I just, I don't really remember. But they're just beautiful movements. They're like so worth thinking about. Because when they're, I don't know. I just, I've always gotten the feeling that you know, because they're not like super crazy high powered, that they don't wear as much, and they're, you know, less wear, less power. That has its own reward too, because then. You're, you're less likely to have, you know, shake and shake and all that other stuff develop because it, it maintains the original um, specs uh, more closely, possibly. Anyway, and since we're here making a video, why not show it off a little bit, right? That big steady balance. <laughs> Yeah, it's just, and I mean, look at this. This is the 6218, and it's got that nice little fine adjuster on there. And it's just, it's just slow. Um, I'm sorry, it just elegantly, elegantly paced. Feels like it has gravity, gravitas. That's pretty. There you go. That's the light angle I should have had. Yikes, that is beautiful. Cool. Anyway, so I'm a big fan of the uh, 6200 series, and that just gets stronger every day. That's about it.